Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Universal Orlando. Today we're at Islands of Adventure and we're gonna go shopping. Specifically, I wanna check out what they have at Toon Lagoon because this is one of those areas I feel like people just don't give the time of day. So let's make our way over, see what they've got, and then we'll, we'll talk about it. So let's get in there. Now there are a couple shops here in the Toon Lagoon area, but I think we're gonna start right here at uh, this one, Photo Funnies. Let's see what they have. I'm already loving it, right? Because we have Popeye, Betty Boop, some classic stuff in here. So let's jump in, do a little bit of shopping. Can I just say, these kill me. They have all of these little plushies and I think they're adorable, $16.95 for those. And then this, can anyone else remember when these were like the thing? $33 for this. Then we have this other night shirt here for $37. Now one thing I notice here at Universal is there seems to be a lot of stuff like this, like typical souvenir type stuff. Let's see if they have my name. I see Kathy, Catherine, but not spelled appropriately. No, they do not, unfortunately. Too bad they don't have number one channel. These mugs are $12. Got a robe here. Betty Boop, this actually feels really nice. It is $80. You got some X's and O's down there. Betty's looking fantastic on the back. This is a little bit bigger than I would purchase here. If I was vacationing, it's a lot to take with me, you know? But here's also another little thing we need to talk about. I mentioned this the other day, but $60 for this onesie. They no longer offer package pickup for day guests here which is a very recent change. So prior to this change, even someone like myself, who was just here as a day guest, not staying at one of the resorts, could absolutely have all of this sent to the gift shop in CityWalk and then just pick it up there before I leave. That's no longer an option. And so that means my shopping habits will definitely have to change. Can't just buy anything, especially if it's big and bulky, like that robe. Lots of accessories over here. So we've got a hat for $26. You have a few hats, actually. These are just universal hats. We've got some buffs. You know, I mean, they call it a multi-purpose headband, but you know what this is, right? My Survivor fans will know exactly what this is. $14.99 for this one. And then they have this one, which is very similar as well. Also $14. We've got a headband. I like this, though. Look at this scarf. Feels really nice really cute. This one is, let's see, this one is $24. Got some Felix the Cat stuff over here. Crop hoodie for $53.99. It does feel good, which that's always nice. And then we have a sweater here for $43.99. And this right here. How do you guys feel about these button-down shirts, like wearing them oversized over some bike shorts and uh, like a sports bra, $75 for this. I think I might be trying out that style this summer. I think it'll be nice and cool. Don't get me wrong, I'm probably behind the curve on this, but still, I don't really go with the trends. We saw this the other day and um, I like it, $33 for this, but I don't like the style of this tank top, so that's why I haven't purchased it. I do like the design though. So maybe I'll get lucky and find it elsewhere. Some standard universal stuff here, $25. I am what I am. Popeye, this is a cool mug. $12.95 for that mug. Is this hand, hand wash only? Sorry, I know you can't see that. I moved a little too quickly, but hand wash only. Too bad. Am I the only person out there who's more likely to purchase things if they are dishwasher safe. I spent a lot of my life living without a dishwasher, but now that I have one, I'm like, it's not wasted, you know? So you got another Catherine, Kathy. You got a Catherine, but it's not quite right, Kitty. That, that kind of does the job. $11 for these keychains, by the way. And then this, okay, so these are $11. Do you guys remember these? I know they have my name here. See, there's my name right there, Catherine. I feel like this is such a 90s thing, but here they are. Here they are for $11. Amazing. 
I know we're looking at a lot of Betty Boop stuff. There's some more generic stuff in here too. Let's see. This necklace is $22. Yikes, that's a little expensive for that. Earrings right here are $24. These don't look all that great, but I think it's because they have a protective cover. See, there's plastic on all of these, so you get to peel that off and it'll look a lot better. So just keep that in mind. Let's see what else we got here. A sale. A sale on select. Betty Boop glassware. I assume this is that. So it was $17, now it's $10.99. This is nice and lightweight. It's nice, really cute. Got a little cover there. We do have some t-shirts here. Oh look, it changes color in the sun. This t-shirt is $33, and this t-shirt does the same thing. It's just in white, and it is also $33. Oh, check it out. It looks like we have a Betty Boop bag. That's kind of cool. $40 for this. Let's see what we're looking at. It's like a crossbody. It says Betty Boop on it. I'm not really loving the quality of this. I feel like they have better options here at Universal, but if you like Betty Boop and you need a bag, maybe this is the bag for you, you know? I do like that they have this right here, so you can put your stuff in and then run the cable up top, which is probably for headphones, but it would be really great for charging your phone, especially here at the parks, you know? All right, we're moving on from Betty Boop. We've made our way to Minion stuff. Now, the Minions are in the other park, but they do have Minion merch all over the place. This is a Dress a Minion plush. We've looked at these before. $19 for the scantily clad plush, and then $16 for the outfit. Last time, we only saw these two outfits, but it looks like they have a Christmas outfit in here as well. Also $16. It would have been cool if that was on a discount, you know, since we aren't anywhere near Christmas time, but whatever. I mean, people, people are going to buy what they're going to buy. We do have this amazing backpack, which we've also seen before, $36. I mean, look at it. Speaking of backpack, here's a lounge fly, and this one is giant. <laughs> Holy moly. Um, so that is adorable. This one is 90 bucks. Now, I had a question about lockers the other day, and when it comes to Universal Studios, these lounge flies, a standard lounge fly, is not going to fit in the locker because this width on a standard lounge fly is about seven and a half inches and the locker's height is only five and a half. So while you might be able to squish it down and fit it in, it, it's, it's not really a good plan. So lounge flies, thumbs down when it comes to not having to get a bigger locker here at Universal. That's why we go with fanny packs, guys, fanny packs. I know I was never team fanny pack until just recently. $37 for this. This is cute. I do like that. It says something on the sleeve too. What does it say? Oh, Universal Studios. Okay. Got some more minion stuff over here, including this Bob. Bob is so cute. I like that he has two different color eyes um, and that he has a teddy bear because I too love plushies. I mean, it's just facts. Oh, look. You can get a headband of his little teddy bear for $18. That is too cute. I love it. Of course, we also have scrunchies over here. I do the scrunchie. $14 for the scrunchie. I use the heck out of scrunchies. And it looks like you can even get a backpack as well. This is super cute. Especially if you're wearing a lot of Minion stuff. $37 for that backpack. We've made our way to what is currently a Hello Kitty section of this store, apparently. Lots of stuff here. We have Hello Kitty. What is this? Hello Kitty at the movies? Where you can dress her up and... How much is this? $25. That's not too bad. It's got a little outfit, soda and popcorn, 3D glasses. It's kind of cute. Oh, look at this. Hello Kitty at the Bates Motel. That's quite the moment to stick Hello Kitty in there. Wow, $33 for this tank top. I do feel like that's a bit much. I mean, it's the going rate, but it's a, it's a bit more than I want to pay for a tank top, but it is psycho. I love that. Of course, the nightmare continues here with Hello Kitty as Chucky for $33. We also have the mug. Oh my goodness. This one is dishwasher and microwave safe. Score, $25 for that one. And then a bucket cap. Bucket cap is 30 bucks. What's on the inside? I, I suppose this is reversible. And then Hello Kitty is on the back as well. Would you wear any of these? Do you like Hello Kitty being featured in scary movies? Tell me about it in a comment. I want to look at this though. What is what is this? Oh, it's like a it's like a square plush. Let's see. 
how much this is. It is $21.95. Let's make sure we can get them back in there nice and good. Oh no. That's what happens when you touch things, ladies and gentlemen. Look with your eyes, not with your hands. But I can't see the price. Can't see the price. These over here are $24.99, or excuse me, $24.95. Super cute. Gotta love a plush. I love the plushies. Check out this mug. This is perfect for eating ice cream. Like, absolutely perfect. $25 and microwave and dishwasher safe. That's what we're talking about. All right, let's see. The back here. Have a sweet day. We've got some t-shirts here for 30 bucks. Oh, here are those other bags that I was mentioning. We've looked at these before. So this crossbody for Universal Studios is $30. And I just think that this is a better deal than the Betty Boop one. Of course, they have small ones here for, I think these are $20. Yes, $20, lots of different colors. For $40, bucks, so you could get a full-size backpack. This isn't necessarily going to fit in a locker. You're going to need a bigger locker for that. But this is a good quality bag. It's like, you can feel that it's like waterproof. It, it's it's going to get good use. It's worth it, this, at least in my opinion. And now we've made our way into the like Universal Studios stuff. So this is the generic Universal Studios stuff that we're going to see all over the place. I do like this stuff. It kind of reminds me of like college gear, you know, which might be right for the right person. I saw this fanny pack the other day and I really liked it. $32. I like that it has this front pouch and I like the strap. The color is pretty neutral and good. I do like that. Also, we have the duffel bag. Is it made of, yeah, it's made of the same stuff. Nice and like durable. It feels durable. This is $52, which is pretty reasonable. And we have some leggings here, or well, not leggings, but biker shorts. How much are these? 37, a bit much. Sorry, by the way, my lanyard was like booping you in the head. You might've been able to hear that. And I apologize, but I'm doing my best. I'm still working with the lanyard you know it's a new addition to my wardrobe this is pretty cool looks like it is 29 dollars. that's a bit much in my opinion but it is lightweight and it's cute it says universal it comes in pink and blue we also have those t-shirts here for 35 these tie-dye t-shirts so those are 35 each and we have them in other colors these are the kids ones and these are 20. so 35 for the adults 20 for the kids this looks new. I don't remember seeing this. Of course, I'm saying this, but who knows? $27 for this. Peace, love, and ride the movies. Sustainable materials, huh? Nothing on the back, but it's pretty cool. Got all the attractions right there. Looks like we have some gloves for $16. These become necessary. You don't realize it, but the longer you live in a warm climate, the more you realize gloves are necessary. And we've got shot glasses for ten dollars got some more shirts over here these are 30 bucks each and then we have this stuff i love this stuff okay just full stop i love the classic universal studio stuff i don't have any of it yet but i want it we've got a crew neck here for 55 definitely very light oh, okay hold on hold on hold on before i speak too soon or out of turn this is like a terry type of type of hoodie or crew neck so it feels very lightweight but i think it's okay um what do they call it french terry if russ was here he'd be reading that label and telling you all about it but that's not me we'll save that for some other time we've got the tank top here for 22.99 that's on sale that's great we've got a bucket cap here super cute let's see is this one on sale no 28 dollars for that we've got this universal hat for 25 this very classic straight out of the 90s hat for 28 and then another straight out of the 90s hat did you guys have like the parachute pants with this print because i did i loved them 27 dollars i was obsessed the fanny pack which i do like is 26 now i wanted this fanny pack and i went through a whole process of buying a fanny pack for universal um, this one just isn't as big as I want it to be in order to hold my Stojo. Have you guys seen that Stojo that I've been talking about? I'm sure I've showed you in a past video. Like, I, I know I showed you in a past video, so you can go check that out. We'll talk more about it, um, some other time. $28 for this drawstring bag, which I think is a nice bag. A little bit expensive, in my opinion. 
Um, but this just wasn't going to hold what I needed it to hold. So I went a different route. We'll talk more about the bags that I've been using later. $33 for that crop top, which I think is really cute. Then we have another buff here, which I imagine is 15, excuse me, 14. A windbreaker slash raincoat here, which is 65. I really like this, but $65, I don't know. I don't know. My concern is I'm gonna buy this and then summer's gonna come, it's gonna become too hot for that. So that's why I haven't purchased it yet. We have this kid's shirt here with some of the classic attractions for 23. And then this shirt over here, which is kind of distressed, 33 for adults, and then for 33 again, that t-shirt with the classic attractions for adults. I love it. I almost left, but there are some plushies here that we have to take a look at. So we do have Scooby for $30. Then we have this Scooby, wow, he's so big, for 45 bucks. That is a big Scooby if I've ever seen one. More reasonably sized Scooby-Doo over here for 22. And then of course we have Scooby in a hamburger, which I think he's in there. Yeah, oh, Scooby butt, sorry about that. Scooby-Doo is in there, and let's see, this one is 34. We got some crazy hats over here. And then over here we have Woody Woodpecker. He is 16. And I don't know who this is, but he's $16 too. Who is that? Is he from Woody Woodpecker? Tell me who this is, because I don't know. Again, I was about to leave, but here we are. So these are coasters for $6. How cool is that? Hello Kitty as E.T., Back to the Future, Jurassic Park, super cute. And of course, Jaws, awesome, just awesome. And we have some Tervises here, and these Tervises are $21. And they have Jaws, E.T., and Jurassic Park as well. Lots of cute stuff here. Lots of cute stuff here. Oh my goodness. Look at that. <laughs> this one is 38. We've got Hello Kitty up here for 25. Really, really cute stuff. Our next stop is Gasoline Alley. So let's jump in here. Now, this is a really small shop, but I still want to take a look, see what they've got. Of course, we've got some license plates here. We have like really cute mass produced license plates. Okay, this might not be the cutest of them, but $24 for that one. And then over here, it looks like we have actual license plates. Some people collect these from all over the place. $44 for this. So if you want a Florida license plate, $44 bucks for that. Let's see. No Massachusetts that I can find. And no Minnesota. Of course, I don't need Minnesota, Nebraska been there. They say it's not for everybody, and turns out it's not. Iowa, been there. All right, I, I could go on, but let's do a little bit of shopping here in this store. So this place is literally like the size of a gas station, and they have some necessities like hats, towels. Now towels are $28, which is a bit much, but there are a lot of really wet water rides over here, so you might find yourself needing a towel. If I had to buy one today, I'm buying the Popeye towel because I like Popeye. Betty Boop's okay. Simpsons are okay. But Popeye, if I'm spending 28 bucks, that's who it's going to be on. We have some change of clothes here. Various pieces of clothes that you could change into if you got soaked to the bone. Um, $40 for the sweatpants. $33 for this t-shirt. Does it have anything on the back? No, just a lightweight t-shirt. And then we have 60 for this hoodie right here. I do see some swim trunks in here. These are itty bitty, size four or five. $24 for these Panama Jack swim trunks. I mean, you know, you should bring your own, but if you need a pair, I guess you might be willing to pay for them. Here, the shirt is $16.99 on sale. That's pretty cool. Let's see what else we can find. I don't think we saw this hat. It's a pretty neat hat. You know, your hair gets wet. You look like a drowned rat. You need something to make you look like a civilized human person for the rest of the day. $27. I like this one better, though. I don't know. 18 bucks for that. That's not too bad. Is this a kid's hat, though? It might be, yes, youth. It's not going to fit on my noggin, but 
I do like it. Let's see, what, what stands out to you? Let me know if there's anything that you're seeing that you're like, yeah, that's for me. This one's kind of cool. Reminds me of a sports hat, like a sports team hat. And of course we have some bigger sizes over here. Are these adult sizes? Oh, this is medium. That's rather small. There's no way. Nonetheless, these are also $28. Here's some more of that, like, I'm going to call it the 1912 collection for Universal. We do have, is this a lounge fly? It doesn't look like it looks like a lounge fly, but I don't think it is. Hold on, let's see what we got here. This one is $60. I don't think it's a lounge fly. No, definitely doesn't look like it. It doesn't have any other markings on it. But again, it's the same size as a lounge fly, so it's not going to work in those small lockers. I like this. I love like the destroyed look of clothes. My goodness, all of my clothes are like flash danced out. $60 for this. Then we have pants that match for $50. Oh, this is kind of cool. Look at this, it's like neoprene. That's neat, because that's going to be waterproof. Kind of. It feels like it might be Velcro or something, but no, it's just a zipper. How much is this? $40. Gotta be careful though, because neoprene, not all of it is waterproof. Some of it's water resistant. It's not necessarily gonna solve all of your problems, you know, but still nice. I do like that. Okay, I think these are the adult, the adult pieces. So we've got some rash guards here for $36. And we've got some pants here for our swim trunks for $32. So we do have a lot of options here. We got some uh, more feminine ones for $30. And they go up to size XL. Wish they had a few more sizes than that, but you know, you take what you can get, I guess. See, the men's do go a little bit bigger, so 2X. So that might do the job if you need a bigger size as well. And of course we have swim shoes here and flip flops. These are not bad. Not bad at all. $21 for that pair of flip-flops. They have these swim shoes down here. These are 20 bucks for the little ones. Let's see. For the adults, 25 So not too bad. Honestly, not too bad at all. All right, shopping checked off the list. Also, we've got the Incredible Hulk right there. You might hear it. And back here, relief area for service animals really cool. Anyway, I think that the merch in this area is pretty standard. It's pretty basic like theme park tourist attraction stuff with some interesting things as well. I do like that they have stuff for Betty Boop, for Popeye. Those are really unique characters that we see here at Universal. But I don't know, is this something that catches your eye? Are you going to buy any of this stuff? Are you going to breeze right past it? I know that there were some families in there doing a little bit of shopping while I was there. Mom didn't seem interested. Kids had no idea who Betty Boop was. And I feel like with those characters in particular, that's not all that uncommon. But like I said, let me know your thoughts in a comment down below. If there's anything that stood out to you, tell me about it in a comment down below. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already so that you can join us on future adventures. There's a lot more shopping I want to do here at Universal, and I hope you'll join me for that. But for now, I think I'm off. Thanks for hanging out, and I look forward to seeing you next time.